Okay, that's better. Hello, hello, I am Bridget, and this is my hair strategy. <laughs> I love my natural hair, y'all. I'm on a natural hair journey, and strategy is being all strong. I'm trying to get out of be soft. Okay, we're not done with my hair, but I'm in love with my hair, y'all. Okay. Anyway, um, the purpose of this video is what am I even talking about? See, I had got all into bed. Oh, I don't need a man. That 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 little saying that we sometimes say, and I won't even talk about it. I don't need a man. I want one. And you know, the reason why I want to share these videos with um, you all is because I personally am on a journey too. I'm not saying as if I'm greater than anybody here. Um, I've been through pretty much all the things that I share on my channel, and so. I like to embrace both sides in order to experience the totality of the goddess or the feminine energy or the divine within me. I've experienced that side already in my journey and I know that words don't teach, only life experiences teach, but I'm just giving an overview. You do what you want to do in your journey, but there's always other ways to look at things. And the most powerful way, in my opinion, in my opinion only, is to exude that divine feminine energy. And so when we're behaving, if we're women, if we are a woman and we're behaving, behaving like a man, per se, or exuding masculine energy, per se, it's like we're fighting against the current of life. We're going against the current <laughs> And it's hard because the waves and that, that current will knock you over. You get sucked in by it, you know. But if you just allow that current to take you back to shore, that's equivalent to being in your divine feminine role. And, and the universe will deliver you right where you need to be. And everything will work out perfectly there. You might not get exactly where your beach towel was, you know. But you're going to get back to shore. You're going to be in the right place at the right time for the right thing if you allow your divine feminine energy to flow anyway in pertaining to i don't need a man i want one it is my opinion that we should stop saying these type of things to men it is my opinion that that sounds crazy if we think about it it's almost like saying I don't need to eat. I just want to eat. It's almost like saying, I don't need to put lotion on. I want to put lotion on. I don't need to brush my teeth. I want to brush my teeth. I don't need to put on deodorant. I want to put on deodorant. Yeah. And in all of those examples, they sound crazy because, okay, you really do need to put deodorant on. You really do need to eat. Who are you? Are you a Buddhist monk or something? How, how you don't need to eat? And you really need to put some lotion on unless you want to be walking around ashy. You know? <laughs> you need to brush your teeth. You really do. You really do unless you want to, your breath to be stained. So what are we really saying when I don't really need a man? I want one. You really do need a man, sis. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yin and yang complement each other. Yeah, yeah, it does. You can't even go up in the kitchen and open up a jar <laughs> by yourself. That let you know you need that strength. But just because you have the jaw opener in lieu of man, now you think you don't need one. You really do need a man if you want to have children, you know. Yeah, yeah, you do. You do. Because we're not on the frequency yet where that immaculate conception is coming forth. So we do need a, one. What do you mean you don't need one when you create them? 
you're the creator of it. So why did you create something that you didn't need? It don't even make common sense to say, I don't need a man. I just want one. Yeah, you do. But what it is, to the core of what it is, is some hurt up in there that's saying, I don't need one. See, we, we just like the so-called um, thick chick who says, you know, she's... Um, She's fine just the way she is and she have love hand, handles and she's delicious and and blah 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 blah. We create this little defense mechanism sometimes <laughs> in order for us to feel good the way we are. And so that, that phrase, I don't need a man, I want one, is for those single women that just want to feel a little good. Because maybe they can't get one. Uh, or maybe simply because they don't have one and they don't understand why they are not attracting one. And so that's why I believe that we have these people that would say, I don't need a man. I just want one. And if you think about it, if someone were to tell, let's flip it on the other end. And say and, and, and apply it to you. And they, see, people could make sense and better understand things when things when they're in those shoes. If a man was to tell you, I don't need a woman, I just want one. How would that make you feel? You sit in there in your divine feminine role and you feel like you're not needed. So wait, you don't need the value that I can bring to your life? You don't need me to be submissive to you? You could take it or leave it. You don't need me to have a great attitude? You don't need me to smile and encourage you and be your biggest cheerleader? You don't need that? You don't need my my physical, my, my look, my beauty to compliment you. You don't need that either. Oh, dang. Well, well let me go ahead over here if I somebody that needs me. Wouldn't well, you feel that way? And so that's the same way I feel like a man would feel if you tell him, him I don't need you. I want you. It's enough to run him off because if he meet a chick who's telling him that she needs him and stroking his ego and he's feeling like he could go and save her day, dun -da -da -da, he gonna be out of there. And so really you're repelling people away from you when you say, I don't need you. Human nature wants to feel part of something. It wants to feel needed and loved in the physical reality. And you are simply de 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 denying that person of that feeling, of that feel-good moment. And it's all about feelings. We do a lot of things that we do throughout the day. It's because of the way that we feel or how we can make other people feel. It's all about a feeling. Because really and truly, the physical doesn't exist. This is the part we came here for. The thrills, chills, and expansion, but it was all about the excitement of it, the feeling of it, the journey of it. So you deny him of the feeling because you've been hurt before. Or better yet, because you're so strong that you don't know how to be vulnerable. You don't know how to say, I need you. Want you. You don't know how to say, but I encourage you to practice that on oh, just somebody. It ain't even got to be the man you like. It could be that bugaboo, the one that call you every day. The one that wish that you would just settle down and marry. We all got one of them. <laughs> Why don't you practice? Maybe we, some of us maybe don't know how, but let's practice being feminine. Let's practice being divine. So this is this is our practice. To tell a man, just pick a man. You know, just any man. 
and say to him, just one of them, you know, that know you, that know you don't probably need him per se, but want him. Why don't we say to him, um, you know, I spent a lot of my life being, being strong, and trying to handle things on my own. And I feel so thankful that you're here in my life. Because you taught me that I do need a man. With your presence alone being here, it makes me understand how much I need a man in my life. And I'm so thankful that you put up with me when I didn't see that myself. I feel so special, so privileged to have someone that supports me in all of my endeavors. I appreciate you. And I totally respect you for the man who you are. How about that? I think that's a great start. I think that I know that that speaks from the heart. And this is not about stroking egos to the point where people walk over you because see, I often have to throw that in too. You do these type of things or you say these type of things like, and this is called, this is what I call opening up. You're opening up your heart chakra. But then you pull back. And I don't mean to be ugly and tell him tomorrow that he not crap tomorrow when you pull back. Pull back means shut up. Pull back means, okay, go to work. Okay, get back into your passion. Okay, do what makes you happy and let him think on that. Let that marinate within him and let him come back to you. I did a video, I don't remember the name of it, but I talked about the rubber band effect. The rubber band effect, according to relationships, like you create that tension with that rubber band. And so you just created tension when you said that you needed him. That's the tension. But now you have to let that rubber band just flap, you know, just flap. And for him to come back to you to expand the rubber band out again. It's all about creating the tension and then letting the rubber band loose. Create the tension and letting the rubber band loose. In and out, in and out. You kind of keep on doing this throughout the duration of the relationship, even when you get married. So you might as well learn how to do it now. Create it and then let it flap. So when you become to the point where you're going on a date, that's the energy, tension, and then you go your butt home and you let it flap, you know? You have a fun experience, you let it flap. You become intimate, you let it flap. You, you tell him you love him, you need him. Well, don't tell him you love him. No, nope, don't do that. Let him tell you that. <laughs> but you, you could still show it by opening up. But you tell him, you know, you need him, and then you let it flap. You know, it's, it's that, 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 that's what it's all about. But together, this is, Kundalini energy. This is yin and yang. Complimenting each other. Having an experience. And the, if you pay attention, Kundalini energy is serpent energy on two sides. One cannot rise without the other. So if there's stagnated energy with you, together you and that person will never rise. We're working on your part today. I know men have their issues, but you have to do your work because it goes like this here in the physical reality. If you haven't understood it yet, it's like this here. You meet all of the ain't S-H-I-T men when you on the ain't S-H-I-T frequency. And so you have to master them. You have to master them until you get to the good ones now. You're not going to experience the good ones until you get good at mastering the ones that you are attracting at your lower self. 
And then when you get good to a place where you won't let these people emotionally trigger you, when you get good to the place where you you no longer saying silly things like, I don't need a man, I want a man because I have so much of hurt. When you get good to the place where I'm not just out to just take, take, take from him and give nothing and bring no kind of value to the relationship, I just want to get mine. When you get good and get over all of that crap there, <laughs> And don't let it penetrate. Don't let it, it, it upset you. And just understand and look at that man for who he is. And realize that he can no longer hurt you. Because you have tapped into your divine feminine, your yin and your yang within you. Because you know now how to express yourself. Because you know what love is and what love is not. Because you know... <laughs> Oh my God, it was like a testimony, Lord, don't tell it on the mountain. Because you know what it is that you are, then that's when good ones come. That's when the good experiences come. That's when you have mastered self and mastered those emotions. And then the universe will yield to you that which you are. And see, you really, you don't really want a relationship when you're on low frequency anyway, because the universe is just going to give you a compliment of who you are. And if you're not ready, you will meet Mr. I'm not ready to. <laughs> so let's learn maybe how to do the work. And let's learn how to walk into our divine feminine. Let's learn how to be soft. Ooh, being soft is where it's at. Being vulnerable is where it's at. That's where your power at. That's where your power at. And you ain't got to cry. You ain't got to worry. You can go on with your day after you tell them how you need them. Because that's your truth. You just spoke your truth and that's all you had to do. You ain't got to worry about what he thinking and his behavior. You just assume the position. You just get in line with who you are and I promise you, the universe will yield to you everything that you want, but you got to get in line with it. And be on the frequency of it first and that's up to you this video was from my heart to yours 